no goblin. Campaign. Welcome back to Yes, Let's Drive for Par. The moment we have been waiting for has finally arrived. The final hole. One drive and tight short game is all that separates our two budding robot golf finalists from $50,000 and a spot on the inaugural Robot Golf Tour Invitational. Ernie, you're a hole away from potential golf stardom. What's going on through your mind right now? Oh well. <laughs> I'm just a used vehicle salesman who wants to play golf in a big robot. It's a real pleasure just to make it this far. Ah, yes. Wonderful. Excellent. And Camilla, you brought your own style to the game. The King's Game 100-foot robot golf. If you win, do you think you're ready to compete in the big league alongside such fantabulous people such as Vani and myself? Oh my goodness. Thank you, Max. And thank you to the whole Yes, Let's Drive for Par family. Today, I stand here fixing to golf for the chance to prove myself as a robot golfer. What started in my heart as a five-year-old cabbage hitter has grown into a burning desire to take the fairways and represent robot golfing at the highest level. I don't think any of us saw where Max's TV show would end up. <laughs> I don't think Max knew either. I mean, the Eagle incident pretty much ruined any chance of a second season. Yet he tried constantly to beat this dead horse long. Max, I need you to take a break from beating yourself up and get ready for the Tour Association board meeting. What's the point? They're just going to yell at us again for blowing up the moon that one time. If only I still had my show, then I'd at least be able to distract them with some tickets. Wait, what did you just say? Just that you blow up the moon once, and suddenly, you're the world's greatest villain. No, no, the other thing. Oh, just that if I still had the show, I could at least dazzle them with my... Superstar charm! Huh. If we had a distraction, that'd make it easy for me to finally activate the Megapar and... What's that, my partner in pudding? Max, listen very carefully. I need you to do something. I need you... To get the show. To get the show. Collectible plates from eBay. Back, back together to do a reunion show. A reunion show? Yes, yes, of course. Bring together the best robot golf stars in the world and make me popular again. To celebrate robot golf. And to celebrate robot golf. On the moon. On the site of the Eagle Incident? If you assemble your stars, I'll provide you with the show of the century. And I know exactly where to start. <laughs> Welcome to this year's Strive to Rebuild Charity Robot Golf Tournament. Up to the tee now is Camilla. For the young ones out there, she was on television for a short while, back before the robots ate all of our televisions for energy. Oh god, they've forgotten how to golf. Oh, no wait, there they go. That building spends its free time helping the less fortunate. Don't you feel bad now? Ready to tee off here. Now that's 
clothing wasn't exactly in the way, but I'm glad to be rid of it. Oh, hello there, Camilla. Max, is that you? You're a sight for sore eyes. What brings you to this neck of the woods? I have a proposal for you. How about we discuss it, uh, over some golf? I'm just gonna interrupt the action real quick here to remind everyone that we destroyed the moon. I actually like that they destroyed the building. That ball is going, go, oh, no, wait, sorry, it stopped. If you're just tuning in, this is 100 Foot Robot Golf, and you probably should have guessed that already. We're gonna need to go on a National Treasure Book of Secret style excavation to dig that ball out of that sand. Don't let me down, Max. If this were an autobiography of that shot's life story, we'd have reached the conclusion. A stirring ending for that shot. For Max, he never gets enough praise. So, what's this proposal of yours? Well, Bonnie and I have decided to... I'm in. But, but I, I haven't even told you. Oh, you're putting together a special show about me, of course. I'm surprised it took you this long, but I'm absolutely on board. Oh, where are my manners? I'm flattered too, naturally. Also, we'll be bringing some other contestants back too. Max lining up at the tee. Huh. Let me think about this for a bit. Just like the Great Library of Alexandria, that ball is lost in the sand. Now they're going to be trying to be good at this. Let's see if they can do it. I guess you could call it... Camilla. A golfer supreme, featuring those who know her well. Well, it'd be up to the network to decide. Okay, okay. How about Camilla and friends? Max crushes one to left field. It would be what I said if this was baseball. got a magnet on it. I'm the old softy, but I think those concrete giants are very good. You know what? You can pick the title. Let's just get all the gang back together. It'll be fun. Ah, yes, fantastic. I'm thinking the next recruit would be your final television sparring partner. Ernie? He's never coming back to Robot Golf again. 
my charm and presence just couldn't be matched, and he went back to doing his, uh... Successful use vehicle business? That sounds right. You know what? I bet he'd love a robot golf makeover. Two great golfing celebrities like us. Well, like me. Bringing him in under our wings, showing him the noble robot golf tour lifestyle. Let's go get him. Do you know where he is? I was hoping you'd have the number or- Oh gosh, no. I don't even know if my phone can dial that area code. Jeeves, fetch me the address of Ernie. Well, I just thought I'd never see you all again. <laughs> Can I fetch you some iced tea or give you a tour of the latest rideable climbers we've got in? <laughs> Ernie, my fine fellow, let's cut to the chase. I'd like for you to be a part of my robot golf reunion show I'm putting on. Featuring Camilla. Ah, geez, Max, Camilla, I, I appreciate the offer, uh, but I've got a pretty neat business going on here. Things are going well, but I don't know if their Ernie takes a robot golf vacation level. Okay, fine. How much do you want around? 300? 2,000? 3,000? Whew, well, dang, gosh, that that's a lot of money here, but uh, I'm not doing this for the money. I, I just want to help people find the dream vehicle for climbing. Fine. Max, let's go. Wait, Ernie, how about this? Let's play a round of golf together. You never could resist, and it is your passion. For old time's sake? Who knows when you'll get the chance to robot golf again otherwise. I'll even loan you my robot, the Steel Horse. Max, that's a mighty fine offer, but there's no need for that. Let me show you something. I didn't know you were a mechanic and a builder. Well, it's just uh, a little something I've been tinkering with. We do get a lot of unusable vehicles at the store, and it would be a shame to just throw them out. It's very, uh, brown. Uh, rustic. I was thinking of calling him Bullet William. Oh, Rustic Rusty. Yes, what a great name. Camilla does it again. It's time for them to drive. Let's see if they can hit the ball very hard and also very straight. Yeah, uh -huh. That's the shot right there. You're a natural, Ernie. You don't need much practice at all. You're a natural. Aw, oh, shucks, Max. You're too kind. I heard that building was full of racists. Scoop that ball out of that sand. The golf was in you all along. It could go all the way. No, it can't. Be sure our taking a long time. Seems like it would be pretty easy to figure out where to go from here.
Look at that lazy ball just stopping wherever it wants. Pitching up good. You're my good, good pitcher. That was terrific. Well, a rolling ball gathers no moss, uh, but that's not going to be an issue here. Make me proud, Ernie. I expected better from Ernie. Now, you don't want to end up in the sand. Uh, there's a pretty good chance that you will upset the giant green cape crabs that live under the mantle of the earth, uh, and that is the last thing you want if you're trying to keep it under par. Better gird your servos, you're headed to the sand. Sand, huh? Okay. on the green, but a bit further from the hole than they probably would have been. It's going to be one heck of a putt. Ernie's bot might be a bit of an eyesore, but that shot sure was a hot High on the hill lived a lonely goat herd. Yay, yo, lay, yo, lay. Let's go. We're all teed up and ready to go. That is, of course, not a regulation tee, but a human femur. Thanks, robots. Hey now, you're a golf star. On the fairway, go play. Shooting off an approach shot from the fairway, Let's see if we can avoid the remnants of human civilization and see if we can get in the way of this good shot. Jeez, dang it! Put a little too much power into the old submarine there. Well, darling, that's what you get for using those old Phoenix in your engine. That and your weird green-yellow hydraulic hybrid. Whoa, dang, Camilla! I didn't know you knew your way around the inside of these old beasts. 
<laughs> I mean, uh, that's what I overheard my mechanic talking about, and she's one of the best in the business that money can buy. Yep. <laughs> that ball out of that snow before its toes fall off. No, no, you didn't. Bumbles bounce. Let's hope this shot does too. Good. Your mom and I are proud of you. No creation without destruction. Good job. All right, no one lying. Way to pitch. Hey ball, chill out. Kids, if you didn't get my reference, that's from Batman and Robin, tragically the only film that survived the robot apocalypse. I'm not supposed to pick favorites, but I'm a big Ernie fan. Time for this robot to tangle with its natural enemy, grass. You're headed to the green. I don't think there's any grass on the green. Yeah, yeah. there's all this grass down That's there. why it's called green. Green? Yeah. What? Yeah. That ball had a surplus of cut cutter on it. It's in the hole. Now be careful when you're golfing, you don't want to cause a bruise flange. This might be a hole in one, but it's definitely going to be a hole in fun. Let's go. Now Ernie, present yourself like a gentleman. Sit up right in your seat. Good posture in the cockpit means good swing on the course. Oh, jeez. Uh, Camilla, I don't think it really matters how I sit in the hang, rear, and the... Back straight. Shoulders back. The rain in Spain mainly falls on the remains of Spain. We'll make you a distinguished robot golfer yet. Ernie proving that looks aren't everything with that incredible shot. Come within spitting distance of the hole. If you can spit really far, you're pretty far from the hole. Slam a jam and ding dong, what a drive. A white ball in white snow. Good luck, idiot.
Minecraft so good. It's like a baseball match in here. Ernie's doing his best out there. Unfortunately, that's just not enough. Now we're talking. <laughs> Are we? It's whole o'clock, we're on the green. I can't believe it's not pot butter. Great job. Okay, I'm still a little rusty, but I, I can't turn down a few rounds of robot golf. Count me in. That's just peachy. Now, Max, who are you thinking of to round out the reunion tour? Ah, yes. That's definitely going to have to be a surprise for you two. I want your reactions to be genuine when you see them. Oh, I hope it's that uh, young fella, you know, uh, 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 God, uh, what is his name? Uh, no, 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 uh, you know, uh, pff, uh, pff, the guy, uh, the guy, uh, the guy with the golf. Now, Max, I swear, if you bring back Robert Boxman to this, I mean, I respect you. But I refuse to even acknowledge a round of golf with that... that... Whoa there, now. Robert just needed a helping hand with his passion. No need to put him down because of his attire. Or... His attire? His attire is literally boxes. He's a grown, six-foot gentleman, wearing a box, pretending to partake in this noble sport. The sport of robot kings. Honestly, Max, the height limit alone should have precluded him from season four. Let alone his... Pilots, pilots, please settle down. You're both way off with your guesses. Just wait until our first round. <laughs> Just wait. Ah, yes, hello, Mr. Mayor. It's your old pal Max here. You remember me, Max, your buddy, CM? I gave you that briefcase a while ago. Well, I need your help. I'm putting on a reunion show for my robot golf entertainment franchise, and I need a city to play in. I was thinking of all the great cities I visited, and I can't stop but think about how great yours was. Of course this isn't a joke. I've definitely kept track of your city on the grow, even after the robot wars. Now surely you're exaggerating. We're playing golf with 100 foot robots here. Some small water damage isn't going to be a hurdle. Mayor, I will take no false modesty. We'll be playing golf in your city tomorrow. Just send out the warning notices. And naturally, I expect two of your finest local competitors. And a golfing celebrity, no excuses. Ladies and gentlemen, I lined up our first round of golf. It's time to make golfing television. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Max, and it's time for the Yes, Let's Drive for Par reunion tour. Our first stop is at your favorite of mine, Old Bay City. Let's turn it over to the city's special guest. Hello, I'm the forgotten fourth even older brother, Rory McElroy. On behalf of the mayor of Old Bay City, I welcome you to this mildly damp golfing wonderland. While definitely more uh, underwater than I remember, Old Bay City still has that timeless charm and makes it, made it uh, known worldwide.
The first shot means infinite possibility. Could you shoot it towards the whole shirt? Why not bring it to the clouds? Give them a little paltry. That's far enough for the ball. That's far enough. They felt like this room something desperate. From the fairway, here they go. Uh, Max? I think there's been some kind of terrible mistake here. I'm playing against training robots. Now that that building's gone, I can see the sunrise from my apartment. That was a great shot, Camilla. That ball has landed in the lava sand. Let's leave that one there, huh, gang? Robot golf balls are inexpensive, but we don't want to get all burnt out. that building made you feel like a real big person. Camilla swings away. That's good. Floor is literally lava. Let's let's get that ball out of there, huh? What did that building ever do to you, you turd? The ball has landed in the lava sand and out. Oh, oh no, it's burning. It's giving a thumbs up, a sad thumbs up as it sinks in. Oh, you hate to see this. Hasta la vista, baby. That southern bell can really swing. So close you could smell the hole if your robot has some kind of extra smelling power. Camilla was in kind of a tight spot there, but she worked with it. registered trademark of the Professional Golfers Association Limited, and this is absolutely not related to their very high-priced lawyers in any way. Am I looking at Ryan Gosling? Because that was a great drive. Camilla sure can golf, huh? Drive. 
You are my good, good driver, boy. That was excellent. Let's hope structural integrity holds and, and, and no doubt. dreams and into my car it's time to go for a drive not happy max this may or may not be the right time but have you heard the good news? Uh, no, I, I haven't. What have you got? Well, I've got some literature here I'd like you to read. Okay, okay let me take a, take a quick look. Okay. This is just a picture of you holding a sword killing a dragon. Pretty sweet, huh? Totally. Totally sweet. Watch this, I'm gonna stop this bubble with my mind. Did, did it work? Nobody cheers for teachers when they do their job, but congratulations on sinking the pun. by all of the robot golfers that have visited our fair city today. I would really like to go home now. Look at them tee up. I'm so proud. Let's drive it. That ball is off to dreamland. Come to sleep on the ferry. We're in the fairway. Let's see if we can't bring it on home. Gee, gosh, this is fun. No, it isn't. I can't believe I'm playing golf at the bottom of the ocean against training robots. How am I meant to show my face at the Robot Country Club after this? I'm not sure if it was supposed to be some kind of statement, but they did destroy that building. I want to stay out of the lava sand. That's just 101. That's like golf basics. Smell that? It's time for a comeback. What kind of bed can't you sleep in? An ocean bed. That's where the ball is stopped. Someone hold her parasol. Camilla's ready to golf. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Looks like Davy Jones has added to his golf ball collection. This one has landed directly in that ocean bed. Wake up, little golf friend. It's time for you to leave the ocean bed. Let's do a drive. The green? Well, that's exactly where you want to be. Camilla is lining up at the hole. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, that green, for lack of a better word, is good. That's my Michael Douglas impression, and this is what foot robot call. Okay, okay. Now, before you say anything, I'll admit that uh, maybe we had a few snags. Max, I just played around a round of robot golf where the headliner was a training robot. A training robot. On top of that, my robot is going to need at least a month's worth of decalping. A few snags is an understatement. I'm out. Wait, wait. I, I promise you, this next one is going to be the main show. Ah, oh, dang. I need to get back to my shop, Max. I've got to prepare for the next celebration. One more show. It'll be huge. We'll do it on the moon. <sighs> Fine. One more show, Max. You've got one more shot. Hi, honey. It's me, Max. I need your help. Ah, you saw. Well, I mean, sure, I wondered why it was called New Bay City, but I'm a busy man. I can't be expected to follow all the world events. What? Both of them? And I thought he was dead? Wow, yes, perfect. Max is back, baby! How can I help you, V? Get me on the line with whoever's in charge at NGBL these days. Tell them we need Project A and Project C activated and deployed ASAP. Of course. Would you like me to contact Biotown Labs as well? No. Suzume needs a soft touch. I'll take care of her. Personally. A state of four has been declared for the Hawaiian City District. All residents must evacuate to their designated grandstand seats immediately. Oh my god, get in. A am I really late? Well? Well, not much of a talker, huh? Well, at least you're cute. <laughs> Hello? Yes, I found her. I'm bringing her to you right now. Thank you for bringing her to me, Panzato. It's been a while since I've seen her. I don't understand. You said the fifth child is your daughter, but she's very clearly a Pembroke Welsh Corgi. It, it's a long story. Look, you can adopt dogs, and they're just as much family as... Well, we don't have time to get into this now. We're moving out. Moving out? What? You're going to activate Project C? There's no other way. The first round is starting. No, wait! We don't have a dog leader yet! Thanks to you, we've just received one. You... you can't be serious! I... I just picked her up! She's nowhere near ready! Just look at her! She just needs to sit and stay. I don't expect more than that. Get inside! Come on! Inside! Get inside! We don't have much time. 
Get inside. Get inside. Come on. Inside. Get inside. If you're going to do it, do it now. If not, then leave. You must confront your fears. Get in the stupid robot already! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell. <sighs> okay, I'll pick you up this time. But you have to learn this sooner or later. Miss, we've configured the language interface for dog. Project C is ready. Begin launch sequence! Now, it looks like we have a late entry onto the roster uh, for this leg of the tournament. And on the roster, gang, I'm not making this up. It's just some mud. It's just some mud. And it's, you can see a few paw prints in there, roughly about 20 paw prints. Uh, which I'm guessing is the signature, the John Hancock, of these five dogs inside of these five dog robots that are forming this big dog robot. Folks, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. It's drive time. I'm not sure if it was supposed to be some kind of statement, but they did destroy that building. What? False synchronization? How can this be? a real sandy dandy. Let's see if they can swing out. A great performance there by Team Project C. I hope destroying that building made you feel like a real big person. You know, that's just about what I expected from five dogs piloting five dog robots to form a bigger dog robot. Let's see if we can't scoop that bad boy right out of the rough. Green is the color of that ball's energy. They felt like destroying something industrial. I'm just very excited because I love dogs. Get your balls ready. It looks like it's about time to bounce. That was just classic 100-foot robot golf, the kind of golf that you just can't get with a human being or even a more modestly sized robot. What are we expecting from this next hole? Probably just your standard by the book 100-foot robot golf with missiles and magnets and that kind of thing. Just pretty basic everyday stuff. And then she's like, I have three dragons at my disposal. And then he's like, uh, we're all dragons. And then they all realize that they're all dragons. They never should have started taking notes from Reddit. You mean Reddit 7? You've got to see this! The golf meter is off the charts! Now, I'm looking at 
at the manifest here, and it looks like that plane was full of grandmas flying to a place called Birthday Island. So I hope you feel good about that. What did that building ever do to you, you turd? Much like the kids from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, it's in the grass. Now, I'm no golf expert, but that's not how I would do it. Oh wait, I am a golf expert. Don't do it that way. I see it's chasing this hole like it's a dirty fire hydrant. I can no longer even see the ball, but I'm going to go ahead and assume that it has stopped. I'm not supposed to pick favorites, but I'm very excited to see these five dogs play golf. Boy, that ball's got wings. Which means, of course, that this golfer will be disqualified. Winged balls are strictly against the rules. Is it? It's drive o'clock. Let's get down there. Oh, she is chasing this hole like it is a rabid mailman. Just like my second life avatar's third marriage, it looks like things have gotten a little rocky. Who's a good boy? Well, five dogs, really, but who's a good five dogs? Hey, golf star, who's my good green boy? I'm always of the opinion that a putt comes from the mind and not the heart. Penzato to Project C. Good dog. Who's my good dog? You're the good dog. It's you, you're the good dog. Well, they just synchronized first time, all five of them. Tell them they're good dogs. I, I, I've got to get this. Hello? Yes. I know it's our top priority. We'll have it active in another... You did something that deserves praise. You should be proud of yourself. Good dog.
Panzato, it's time you learned why we exist. Our secret base is run by a trio of even more secret artificial bio-intelligent bio-computers called... Called the Computer Robot Golf Interface. Yes, I know that. What you don't know about the CRGI is that when it was created, each personality was imprinted with three differing aspects of my DNA. While their primary mission is calculating golf trajectories, they have a secret mission to find the Infinity Ball. Made from the red soil, changing through the ages, but capable of incredible distance. We must find it before anyone else, if it got into the wrong hands. You understand, correct? So, the secret computer in the secret base has a secret mission to find a secret golf ball. Is that your big secret? Great work! Did it find anything yet, or is that secret too? It is time for the second round. Prepare Project C. Those dogs are actually playing very well. If you squint, you could almost believe that it was five chimpanzees in five chimpanzee robots forming a bigger chimpanzee robot. T for two and two for T, it's time to get started. If this were an autobiography of that shot's life story, we'd have reached the conclusion. A stirring ending for that shot. I'm not supposed to pick favorites, but I'm very excited to see these five dogs play golf. Hey now, you're a golf star. On the fairway, go play. I actually like that they destroyed the building. Watch, watch this, I'm gonna stop this ball with my mind. You may have been built in a secret government bunker, but let's make sure to keep it off the bunker and on the fairway. I will be the first person to admit I was wrong. These five dogs are doing a very good job at playing golf. As good, at least as I would say, maybe three horses or 11 rats or 14 smaller dogs than the dogs that are currently out there or like 100,000 fleas uh, or 2 million ants. Griffin, 
Hmm? You're, you're embarrassing yourself. 30 frogs. Enough, little ball. That's far enough. Who's a good boy? Well, five dogs, really, but who's a good five dogs? Come within spitting distance of the hole. If you can spit really far, you're pretty far from the hole. I'm just very excited because I love dogs. there by Team Project C. Drive a clock. Let's get down there. Boy, that ball's got wings. Which means, of course, that this golfer will be disqualified. Winged balls are strictly against the rules. Griffin, do you think that the robots are making everyone proud today or embarrassing themselves? I think it couldn't matter less to the robots who don't seem to have any kind of receptors for human emotions. Uh, they were designed to play golf, and I expect that they will do very good at that uh, here at the next hole. Well, let's see if that holds true. You ever notice how if you say a word enough, it really loses its meaning? Golf, 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 golf. It's time for these five dogs to show us what they're made of. Dogs and dog parts. Look at that lazy ball, just stopping wherever it wants. Now that that building's gone, I can see the sunrise from my apartment. Let's 
facing this hole like it's a dirty fire hydrant. Three, two, one, blast off. It's drive time here on the fairway. You are my good, good driver, boy. That was excellent. Product seems in the sand. if it was supposed to be some kind of statement, but they did destroy that building. And that is just sort of the natural biological edge that five dogs can bring to the table when playing robot golf. Santa Claus is private plane, so Christmas is canceled this year, I guess, gang. You know, who would have expected five dogs to perform so well at golf? Robots are real sandy dandy. Let's see if they can swing out. That ball is going, go, oh, no, wait, sorry, it stopped. Penzato to Project C. You did it again! Good dog! Who's a good dog? You're a good dog! Hello? I was not expecting to hear from you so soon, Vani. I'll make this short. I need Project A and Project C to join us on the moon for the final tournament. But that's impossible. I... Dando, am I to understand that you found the fifth child? Yes, and synchronization is going... She's not your only responsibility. The robot golf tour should be your top priority. Why do you think I fund you? But of, but of course, and I totally... Your repair costs alone must be staggering. And for what? A fairy tale. I'll expect both projects on the tee. There's no turning back now. I know. Golf kind has no time left. Panzato, I need you to set up a video conference call with Project A. Emergency code 0452. Now, please be quiet as we enter. Real bioscientists are working on very delicate robots here, and we don't want to startle them. This building is called Lab A, but you may know of it by its old name, Mason's Hangar. 
12 years ago in this very location, this... Hey! Can we meet one of them dang robot golf scientists? Please, sir, don't interrupt our scientists. Now, as I was saying, this whole hangar was the home base of arguably the world's greatest robot golf team back in the day. These days, we use these facilities to research how to meld the athletic physique of the human form to the strength and size of other, less sporty robots. Let's move to Lab B and see how these big bio-robots get their start. Now, every bio-robot needs a bio-mother and bio-father. What you're seeing here is the... Oh, such a waste! Those toes would provide great grip in a bunker. Robot booties are very important for non-sporting bio-robot operations. Suzume, your talents are being wasted. You come here every year for every open house to get me to play again. My stance still stands. I won't step on the green again. Not for Biopal, not for me, and especially not for you, Vani. Suzume, I, I know that Mason's disappearance- Death. I don't remember much, but I do know that the course that I was playing on disappeared a decade ago. Did they ever find out where the rest of the moon ended up? I... I know the Eagle Incident swore you off ever being part of Robot Golf again, but- Your incident took my leg, my arm, my memory, and killed my closest friend. Why are you still here? I have some new information. Our deep sea scanners picked up some strange readings in the Mariana Trench. Max sent this to me an hour ago over the wire. It appears he inadvertently stumbled on something you may have an interest in. He's camped out in robot golf tour territory, past the remains of Old Bay City. The only people that will have clearance to pass over the trench are this year's robot golf tour pilots. Oh. I'll pull strings to get you as a late entrant. You get me the robot golf tour trophy? I'll turn a blind eye if you stroll off the Mariana tour leg for an hour to bring him home. Do we have a deal? Max, it's me. I just spoke with her. Operation Headless Angel is a go. <laughs> Welcome back to 100 Foot Robot Golf, and I've got to say, what we're seeing here is unprecedented. We have a new competitor entering the field halfway through, and it's Suzumi, the famed biomech robot scientist. She hasn't been seen on the fairway since the Eagle incident. Could this be her return to the Robot King's game of 100-foot robot golf? I don't know. That's why I, I did a question sound. I didn't know if you were asking me no, or if a, you were... I just was doing a regular question noise because I, I don't know. Suzume is stepping up to the plate, by which, by which I mean the T. Do the math and you'll be fine. That ball is off to dreamland. Come to sleep on the fairway. real quick here to remind everyone that we destroyed the moon. Hello, 
sand, my old friend. Time for them to drive. Let's see if they can hit this ball very hard and also very straight. Well, a rolling ball gathers no moss, uh, but that's not going to be an issue here. Call me an old softy, but I think those concrete giants deserve a little bit. Competition with a huge swing. That ball is gone to live with the birds. without destruction, good job. They sure are taking a long time. Seems like it would be pretty easy to figure out where to go from here. Oh, Suzume's gotta be happy with that one. Something industrial. Who's mommy's good golf baby? Is it you? I suspect it is. Let's see it on the next hole. Folks, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. It's drive time. Am I looking at Ryan Gosling? Because that was a great drive. It's 
Izume, I'm proud of you from the bottom of my heart. If you're just tuning in, this is 100 Foot Robot Golf, and you probably should have guessed that already. Surely it's time for some air control, and don't call me Shirley. Ah, uh, Suzumi so finds herself in the rough. Now that building wasn't exactly in the way, but I'm glad to be rid of it. Get in there and win it, Suzume. Suzume may have a small voice, but a big swing. She crushes that one. It could go all the way. No, it can't. Ooh, now that's the tall grass that you don't want to end up in. We're in the rough. Let's see if we can get out of it. Prophecy foretold that would this putt not be sunk, that I would die alone. Now they're going to be trying to be good at this. Let's see if they can do it. Hey, big pro. Congratulations. You're on the green. Nice. surplus of putt cutter on it, it's in the hole. Did you know that Hawaii spelled backwards spells Hawaii? It's time for another hole. Suzume lining up the tee. Hear it for Suzume. Don't let me down trying to get from the fairway to the green. Suzume. Much like the kids from Honey I Shrunk the Kids, it's in the grass. The course is really missing its groundskeeper who died in the last robot attack. Well, they're in the rough. Let's see if they can get back on the fairway. Ding dong, what a drive.
you probably wanted the ball to go in the hole, and it didn't, and you beefed it. Watch, watch this, I'm going to stop this ball with my mind. Great shot. A chance to redeem themselves were trying to get out of the rough. Driver boy, that was excellent. Come on, robot, you can do it. I believe in you. Let's get out of that rough. see the ball, but I'm going to go ahead and assume that it has stopped. This is air control. dreams and into my car, it's time to go for a drive. Am I looking at Ryan Gosling? Because that was a great drive. Good opening salvo. Let's see if we can make it work from the fairway. Oh, nice. You've come within spitting distance of the hole. If you can spit really far, you're pretty far from the hole.
shooting off an approach shot from the fairway. Let's see if we can avoid the remnants of human civilization that seem to be in the way of this good shot. Boy, that ball's got wings. Which means, of course, that this golfer will be disqualified. Winged balls are strictly against the rules. Are you rough enough? Let's find out. That ball's got a mind of its own, which is, of course, illegal biotech. There's no place for that in robot. It's hole o'clock, we're on the green. If they sink this one, the next game is free. Let's see how they do. I'm always of the opinion that a putt comes from the mind and not the heart. You should start praying to whatever god robots believe in, because this is going to be a real tough putt. Oh, so close. I keep having these dreams. There's always golfing. And the moon. And... And Mason. Why can't I just let it go? It's been years. Years since we worked together. At this point, I, I just want a good night's sleep. I'll just get his remains, bury them properly, and end this chapter. It's easy. You can do this, Susume. Time to shake what your mama and the factory gave you. We're on to the next hole. We're all teed up and we're ready to go. That is, of course, not a regulation tee, but a human femur. Thanks, robots. <laughs> Far enough, little ball. That's far enough. Leading off from the fairway, let's see how close we can get. Hook, line, and sinker, you're gonna lose that ball. To be fair, this is really caused by the hubris of man to think that we could conquer the ocean.
If this were an autobiography of that shot's life story, we'd have reached the conclusion, the stirring ending for that shot. Bit like a litter box and get that ball out of the sand. Virginia destroys her competition with a huge swing. That building spends its free time helping the less fortunate. Don't you feel bad now? They seem to be aiming down the fairway. That seems a good play. A great shot by Suzume. Taking time to consider the wind, the lay of the grass, the size of the robot, the course that their life has taken, the tragedies of war. Let's, I'm kind of bored with it. Let's do some golfing. I'm so ready for this to be We actually do get by the hour, though, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it right now, I guess. Suzumi may have a small voice, but a big swing. She crushes that one. Now we're talking. <laughs> Are we? Putting a little bit of extra stink on that ball to give it a bit of air control. Don't you think there's enough pollution in here? Get that ball out of the ocean bed. A great shot by Suzume. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, that green, for lack of a better word, is good. That's my Michael Douglas impression. This is 100 foot robot golf. Oh, hell yeah, crush it. Well, this is the next hole. Go for it. We've got this golf egg perched up in its nest and we're just getting ready to blast this thing. I can't wait. Oh, well, Suzume's gotta be happy with that one. That ball is off to dreamland. Come to sleep on the floor. On the right side, I heard that building was full of racists.
Well, a rolling ball gathers no moss, um, but that's not going to be an issue here. We are in the fairway, which is the chorus to the song of golf. Suzume. It could go all the way. No, it can't. Let's hope structural integrity holds and 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 no dice. Pitch it up good. You're my good, good pitcher. All right, no one Ryan, way to pitch. That ball is going, go, oh, no, wait, sorry, it stopped. the 100 foot robots recognize the humanity that used to live within that building? Probably not. Let's see how the shot goes. Oh, nice. Look at that lazy ball just stopping wherever it wants. All done full up with putt butter. Great shot. Well, we finally made it to the green. My only question is who'd even think of putting a tavern there? Nobody cheers for teachers who may do their job, but congratulations on sinking the putt. Moving on to a new hole, watch out for the fishies. This might be a hole in one, but it's definitely gonna be a hole in fun. Let's go. I don't wanna panic anybody, but that robot is controlling the ball with their mind. trying to break some kind of ancient curse? Why would you put your ball in the lava set? People of the party, hot, hot, hot. Time to get out of that lava sand. Get good. Your mom and I are proud of you. What did that building ever do to you? You turn. We're on the fairway. If golf had a boring middle part, this would be it. Ah, oh, 
so close you could smell the hole if your robot has some kind of extra smelling power. See that place where there's no course? That's the hole. It's green time. They've got to be frustrated about how that last putt went, but uh, don't don't play on tilt. Center yourself, and then you you might screw it up again. Kazumi destroys her competition with a huge swing. Just fantastic work by Suzume, who's walking off the course and into that deep, murky ocean. This really seems like something the referees should be handling. Wait, I'm, I'm being told that there is no such thing as a 100-foot robot golf referee, which I guess makes sense, because giant Asimov's laws of giant robotics dictate that robots can't cheat. Come on, where are you? I'm running out of time here. If this is Bonnie playing me again, I'm going to be so furious. Kept you waiting, huh? What? No love for your longtime teammate, Mason? Honestly, I was expecting a little more after all this time. What? What? What are you doing here? How are you still alive? Why didn't you contact me? Well, I've already discovered the moon. I figure why not take over the ocean as well. I heard a rumor about a fabled place called Atlantis. The Atlantis of Hats, and I- Oh my gosh, Mason, can you be serious for just this once? What happened? Honestly, uh, I don't remember much. I was on the moon golfing, and then suddenly I'm on the ocean. What, what do you remember? Nothing. I lost my memory, and my arm, and my leg. Oh, that's that's great. I uh I'm I'm so happy to hear you made it out on skate. On skate? I have robot limps because of what happened. Ugh, just just come on over and we'll get out of here. Well, funny thing about that, I may need a bit of a hand. Well, two hands and and legs. And a body. You dumb clown, I'm a bioengineer. Growing bodies for people is all I do. <laughs> Actually, I've got just a thing. Okay, very funny. Now, where's my real body? What? You don't like your new form? I picked it out just for you. I think it really highlights your natural features. Thanks. It's not like I wanted to take in a breath of fresh air after living forever under the ocean. You have no lungs. That's impractical. That's impractical. You call breathing impractical? Yet you still spend time finding a lazy dolly for my table? It's a nice table. I wouldn't want to screw it out with your... Uh, head gunk. Look, Mason, I missed you. Yeah, no doubt. I bet all of Robot Golf misses my great swing. Wait, Robot Golf, does it still exist? You're no fun. Seriously, though, you better have a robot for me to pilot on the fairway. Oh, do I have a robot for you? A custom boy designed exactly for your personality. With arms and legs and a torso? Yes, it has a full body. And guns. I know you're not a big shoot guys in golf lady, but I want this bad boy to finally have some big guns. Oh, it's a veritable gun show of guns.
Folks, first we saw the return of Suzume. Now Mason is back on the fairway. For someone who we assumed had died many years ago in the Eagle incident, his stroke has barely suffered at all. So I flipped on the lights and it turned out it had been a robot the whole time. Oh, is this on? Dong with a drive. Better gird your servos, you're headed to the sand. That ball landed deep, deep in that grainy sand. Let's see if we can't get it out of there. Do you guys ever just stop and close your eyes and think about death? Mason delivering another stellar performance. You are my good, good driver, boy. That was excellent. Softy, and I think those concrete giants deserve a little better. No problem. Now, it is actually a problem that the ball landed in the snow. I hope destroying that building made you feel like a real big person. Just like the Great Library of Alexandria, that ball is lost in the sand. Worse for the various gears and components of robots, I cannot imagine. You just pitch that so good, it's like a baseball match in here. It ain't easy being green, but it's real easy playing from the green. Choice. I heard that building was full of racists.
Go for it, Mason. Oh, dream pot. Travis, the robots are hitting real hard today. What are you expecting to see on this next hole? I expect them to hit as hard, maybe harder, maybe less hard on this next one. Salient insight, let's see how it goes. Mason pilots the robot right up to the tee. Well, that's one way to start an avalanche. Freezing robot golf balls makes them highly volatile, so it should make for an exciting shot. I hope you like that spicy Tabasco boy I grew for you. See? He's got great big guns, just like you asked. Dude, you really turned into a living monkey's paw while I've been away, haven't you? Watch, watch this, I'm gonna stop this ball with my mind. Did, did it work? Fairway on a fair day. If we still had day and night, we're aiming from the fairway. Another great shot from Mason. Fair way to heaven? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Gosling, because that was a great drive. And that's how you get ahead of the competition, right, Mason? spends its free time helping the less fortunate. Don't you feel bad now? The plane, the plane has been destroyed. with an absolutely terrific shot, especially for just a whole job. We're moving on to the next hole. This one promises to be a real challenge. I'm not supposed to pick favorites, but I'm a big Mason fan. That's a real interesting swing there, Susume. Very scientific and nerdy. It serves its purpose. Golf is never purpose. It's a dance between you, your ball, and the hole. It's the fandango of the fairway. The disco of the long drive. The swing. Swing? It's applied math. I bet you're a real 
kid at the clubhouse these days. Boy, that ball's got wings. Which means, of course, that this golfer will be disqualified. Winged balls are strictly against the rules. Well, it looks like it's landed in the snow, but Poe oh, Buddy's snurfic. Mason's heading up the council on how to do golf good. Hey now, you're a golf star. On the fairway, go play. Mason and Suzu may make a great team, don't they? When is a door not a door? When, it, when it's a jar with a head in it named Mason, golf shot. Let's hope this shot does too. You pitched it good. Your mom and I are proud of you. We're about halfway there. Uh, let's see if we can get it off the fairway and into the green. the council on how to do golf good. Landed in the rough, eh? So much for those billion dollar targeting systems. That ball is off to dreamland. Come to sleep on the fairway. I actually like that they destroyed the building. From the fairway, here they go. You just pitch that so good, it's like a baseball match in here. The green? Well, that's exactly where you want to be. Mason with an absolutely terrific shot, especially for just a head and a jar. Well, 
folks, as they say, it ain't easy being green. Well, Kermit is dead, so I have to agree with that. Whoa. Those are some rough Mason, ever since you've left, I've been having nightmares. Nightmares about the Eagle incident. Well, yeah. It was kind of a big deal. I lost my memory when it happened. But recently, I've been remembering more. Like, uh, like what? I remember the moon. Obviously, I'm there. There's someone taking a swing at a ball, but I can't make them out. Mm, uh-huh. And Vani. Her laugh. It's searing every time. And you... Just your head floating through space. Well, it's not like I have much left anymore. No, you don't get it. These dreams started before I found you. Oh. I need to go back and find out what happened. But but I'm afraid that I might put you in danger. That's uh that's a tough problem, but if that's if you need closure, then you should do it. I'll come too. You don't need to come with me. Vani's only expecting me on the No, I need to be there. I really need to be there too. Plus, what kind of host would I be if I wasn't there to welcome you on Mason's Moon? Wow, really not letting that one go, are you? Look, I stepped foot on there. I had every You know right the to moon existed before you were born, right? It's not like your birth made the tides happen. No. But I have been told by many ladies that my smile lights up their nights. Oh my gosh, Mason, stop! Nope, 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 nope. Abilene, you're a brilliant robot rocket scientist. It's your aptitude for technology that won us over, even in spite of your young age. But here at Future NASA, you work as part of a team. You have to respect the rules and regulations that come with working at a government facility. Hang on there a moment. I know I'm a little biased as her boss and mentor, but Aveline has made leaps and strides with her teamwork and communication skills recently. Let me read you the latest report from our facility's lead. Loud music heard blasting from Aveline's department. All toilets in the JSC ladies' room shattered from an internal explosive force. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Ad administrator, go on. Grind marks found on the recovered first stage of the Saturn V rocket that brought Apollo 11 to the moon. Wait, wait, when did you do that? I didn't. Well, I mean, it was a really good line. I had to. Nice. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm sorry, Uncle. You're good people, but I can't pull any more strings to keep you two out of trouble. As of now, Aveline, your services are no longer needed at Future NASA. <gasps> what? Well, uh, you can't. Uh, well, but it did. Look, Aveline is the most brilliant and kind rocket scientist I know. And she's only just getting started. I'm not going to sit here and let future NASA make the biggest mistake since Skylab putt-putt. If Aveline goes, I go too. <sighs> huh. That didn't go as well as I expected. That's dumb. <sighs> hi. Hi. Um, Uncle? Aveline? That's you two, right? Hi. I like your hair. Thanks! I like your skateboard! I heard you both just got fired! Wait, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean for that to sound so cheery. I'm just glad I got here first! I have a deal for you! I work at NGBL, have you heard of us? Oh, the robot golf people? Aren't you more, uh, canine-focused these days? I have a new project I'm heading up while Project C is on the course. It's called Project A. Nice! That's already two better than Project C! But surely you've already got a full engineering staff. Why us? Engineer? No. This is a pilot-linked golfing robot. 
It needs two human pilots who are in sync with each other. Like you two. But I've never golfed before in my life. Dude, 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 dude. This is the same team that just jammed a bunch of dogs into a robot to play golf. I think we can pretty easily play sports better than those puppies. Is that a yes? What do you think, Aveline? I'm in, but I have three requests. One, I want the robot to have a sick skateboard. Hmm, I think if we take out the missiles, we can make that work. Two, no lamos allowed. Everyone has to be cool with whatever music I want to play. And the third thing? Project A is a dumb, boring name. If Uncle and I are piloting a robot, it has to have a cool name. Like, Potts McKenzie, the, the Nose Grinder 1080, the Rolfer. See, Rolf means robot golf, and put it together. And it's How cool. about Liquid Steel? <gasps> yes, oh my god, yes, Liquid Steel, it's perfect. Okay. I'll see what we can do about renaming it to Liquid Steel. In the meantime, Liquid though, steel. let's get you on the course! Liquid Steel! Oh, wow! Look how big this board is! I'm gonna grind everything! Aveline and Uncle step up to the tee. Watch, watch this, I'm gonna stop this ball with my mind. of yourself. You should be. That was a great putt. Aveline and Uncle lining up. The putter putted their putt and sank the putt with their putter. Moving on to a new hole, let's see if we can wreak maybe just a little bit less destruction this time. Aveline and Uncle lining up the tee. Four! <laughs> We've come within spitting distance of the hole. If you can spit really far, you're pretty far from the hole. the time to use their missiles? Well, no one's quite sure what's going on in their head. We're trying to get from the fairway to the green. Great job, Aveline and Uncle. That's gonna leave a mark. This is a great way to earn your bread and putter. Bread and putter? Get it? Putter! Ugh, I get it, I get it. Oh, 
Oh, Aveline and Uncle, you've disappointed me. Now, Griffin, would you say that every grain of sand represents a child's dream? I would say it actually represents a human life that was lost in the 100-foot robot war. And Justin, how many loved ones would you say you lost in the robot war? I'm no longer familiar with the concept of love. I uh, washed it away with the memories of everyone I ever cared about. Great, great. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Green is the color of that ball's energy. I can't believe it's not public. Great job. Holy Bergoli, that was amazing! That was so much fun! I can't imagine what this must be like in a tournament. Well, you're gonna find out pretty soon. You both did so well that we've organized a company golfing match for you. Ready for a fun round against Project C? Yeah, let's kick some dog butt! I'm ready for a hole of a time. Ugh. <sighs> <sighs> Their pairing is incredible! I'm telling you, the bond they have translates perfectly to liquid steel. <clears throat> liquid steel? Project A, don't act like you don't know. They're absolutely more than ready to play. And you're telling me there's only two of them? That's only 40% of the pilots we're seeing in my Project C reports. What's the percentage on fur cleanups this week, Captain? What's your report say about that? Uh, we're out of time. We've got to get to the course. It's time for the two projects to meet. We're here at the first team in GBL Invitational where we're seeing two, frankly, improbable robots face up against each other. On the left, two engineers who just got fired from NASA trying to skateboard with a golf robot. And on the right, it looks like that is... Yes, it's five dogs piloting a dog robot made out of five smaller dogs. I'm sorry, gang. This sport used to mean something. We used to have rules and standards about how robot golf would be played. This is just, they're, they're just making a mockery of this. They're making a mockery of this and me and us and this. Three, two, one, blast off. It's time for driving here at the tee. Oh man, you're going down, dogs. We're gonna be the best golfers. Well, I'm sure we'll both have a nice game. Just remember not to fetch the ball, pups. that biodome right under the foot. That ball is going, no, oh, no, wait, sorry, it stopped.
Every year, one million golf balls are lost in the lava sand. Won't you do your part to get this ball out today? Oh, Aveline and Uncle have got to be happy with that one. We're in the fairway. Let's see if we can't bring it on home. Well, a rolling ball gathers no moss, uh, but that's not going to be an issue here. Now it's time for Aveline and Uncle. Just about time for Parkland's 1999, and everything hasn't been destroyed yet. Hold up, it is. I'm just kidding, everything's been destroyed. You know, green used to be my favorite color before my retinas were seared in robot attack. Let's see how they do. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Uh-huh. We're down where it's wetter. Let's see if you can golf better here on this new hole. Look at them tee up. I'm so proud. Let's drive it. Hey now, you're a golf star. On the fairway, go play. Vroom vroom. It's time to drive. Oh, nice! I hope destroying that building made you feel like a real big person. Oh darn it, they're in the rocks. I'm really disappointed now. Let's see how they do. <laughs> Get wrecked, dumb dogs! Don't forget, dogs are people too. Well, they're dogs. But they have feelings! Time for this robot to tangle with its natural enemy. Grass. You're headed to the green. <laughs> I don't think there's any grass on the green. Yeah, yeah. there's lots of grass down That's there. That's why it's called green. Green. Yeah. What? Yes. Oh, Leo, oh, Mayo, they flattened that bio. Don't. Look at that lazy ball just stopping wherever it wants. Green, more like mean. I doubt they'll make this. Work. Got that one right in green's mouth.
Way down below the ocean, it's time for another hole. Put your golf egg on the tee, and now it's time to hit it, hit it, and hit it. during ending for that shot. I'm not sure if it was supposed to be some kind of statement, but they did destroy that building. Go all the way. No, it can't. Smell that? It's time for a comeback. play golf what's how about you take that ball Aveline ah, what's going on pilot mental pairing broken Aveline just stop for a second they're getting away how can you just sit there when those dogs are going to beat us because that's great what look at those little puppers go all that matters is that we played a good game it doesn't matter if they win or lose just that we play our best and everyone has fun <sighs> We were so close to winning. We, why couldn't you just actually play the game and win it? Because if we want them to lose, we'll be just as bad as future NASA. Being happy is all that matters in life. And anything that stands in the way of that, office rules, golf rules, whatever. It's just terrible. Who cares if they win or we win if we've all had fun in the end? Well, I sure would have had more fun if we'd won this tournament. Ugh, oh, look, they're even getting medals now. Great. Little dog medals. They'd probably rather get food. What are they even gonna do with those things? We'll get them next time, champ. Come on, let's head home. <sighs> we can grab some ice cream on the way. And maybe some new trucks for your board? <sighs> Fine. Humans, robots, we're here today at the biggest and most important section of the Robot Golf Tour schedule, the final tournament, taking place on what remains of the moon. Let's head down to the competitor's biodome and see how our robot golf pilots are doing. Max? Ah, yes, thank you, McElroy brothers. And welcome to the Yes, Let's Drive for a Par pre-show. Um... Max, I'm pretty sure that this is still our famous McElroy televised coverage of the greatest game, the Robot Kings game, of Robot Golf. I'm here with the newest members of the Robot Golf Tour Association, Aveline and Uncle. I must say, it's a pleasure to have two brand new people experiencing my superstar charm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, uh, oh my, it's, it's so great to meet you, Max. Obviously, we're both huge fans of you and your show. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's been great, sure. <laughs> hmm. Well, I must say, it's very surprising to see Liquid Steel representing NGBL on the T and not the famed Project C, especially after they won the NGBL Invitational. Any ideas what tipped Penzato and Dondo over the edge in your favor? Huh, I don't know. I guess they just felt like our human brains and natural greatness were a better fit for the unique play surface of the moon. Also, we have opposable thumbs, which are great for pressing robot buttons and turning door handles. 
definitely no way we'd ever get stuck in a room. Natural greatness indeed. Best of luck today, you two. Eat that green up on the next hole. The first shot means infinite possibility. Could you shoot it towards the hole? Sure. Why not blast it into the clouds? Give them a little bit. There goes Mrs. Turkelson's fourth grade moon field trip. Dang it. Watch this, I'm gonna stop this ball with my mic. If you're just tuning in, this is 100 Foot Robot Golf, and you probably should have guessed that already. You are my good, good driver, boy. That was excellent. Look at that lazy ball, just stopping wherever it wants. from the hole than they probably would have wanted. It's going to be one heck of a play. They sure are taking a long time. Seems like it would be pretty easy to figure out where to go from here. Shot by Abilene and Uncle. In space, no one can hear you, King's Game, but that's no reason to stop doing it. Three, two, one, blast off. It's time for driving here at the team. Hey, uh, Uncle? What's up, Power Alps? I just... I just wanted to say that I'm really sorry that I got you fired from Future NASA. I know that you liked making rockets and stuff, and I just... I'm just sorry my dumb butt got you kicked out. Are you kidding? Getting fired from Future NASA was the best thing that ever happened to me. Look where we are now. Do you think we'd be on the moon if we still worked at future NASA? Okay, okay, bad example. But seriously, I get to hang out with you in a cool skating robot and play golf all day. I think things have turned out pretty well. <laughs> I guess. I'm still sorry, though. It's cool. I'm sorry we didn't win that last round, too, by the way. Eh, guess we'll just have to win the next one. That ball is going, go, oh, no, wait, sorry, it's not.
That was a good opening salvo. Let's see if we can make it work from the fairway. That shot was just liquid steel all over. I would stay awake just to watch you golfing, and it seems like you're not gonna miss a thing. It could go all the way. No, it can't. Your uncle sink it. Welcome back to our coverage of the final tournament. This is a high stakes game where the playing has been medium rare, yet one set of robot pilots seems to be having the carefree time of their lives. Aveline, uncle, is this part of a secret play that we'll see pay off in a few holes time? Yes, the secret is we're gonna win the award for having the most fun. And being the raddest robot golfers around. Yep, when it comes to having fun and being great at golf, we take the award for most hippest. Best at being hip? Ugh. The hippest? Uncle means that we're the sickest crew ever, no matter what our score is at the end of the day. There you have it. Move over, Timon and Pumbaa. Aveline and Uncle are on the scene. Stick around for the next hole and Hakuna Potato. Who, who are Timon and Pumbaa? Who are Timon and Pumbaa? Oh, wow. I can't believe you haven't seen The Lion King yet. Okay, we have to go watch this now. See, there's this baby lion and this dad lion, and they're on this hill. And this monkey comes and holds the baby lion, I think. And the dad lion is like, one day all this will be yours. And Wait, isn't that just Hamlet? What, that pig movie? No, no, that's Babe Pig in the City. This is the one that's all Hakuna Matata with the lions and that weasel thing. It's hole five, and we're looking at the forecast here. Absolutely clear weather on the moon. There's no danger here to the robots. In fact, the, the organizers of the tournament continued to stress how little danger there was, to the point of almost being unbelievable, I would say. And the chances of a meteor shower, they tell us, are minimal at best. Look at them tee up. I'm so proud. Let's drive it. Camilla swings away. I actually like that they destroyed the building. That ball landed deep, deep in that grainy sand. Let's see if we can't get it out of there. Smell that? It's time for a comeback. They felt like destroying something industrial. Hey, watch, watch this. I'm gonna stop this ball with my mind. Meteor shower alert. Meteor shower alert. Rain 
Congratulations on beating me. Well, that's just the thing. Uh, as soon as the storm hit, I came running over. My ball is still just hanging out on the green over yonder. What? But you're... You could take the lead. No, no, that, that just seems gall dang rude, if you ask me. Especially when my golfing buddy could use a hand. So, you gave up the lead just to help me? As a friend? Oh, Ernie... That's, that's the sweetest thing anyone's ever done for me. God dang, <laughs> you're making me blush. Give me that old robot hand. I, I can't. My dear sweet tea here is out of commission. Just go ahead and I'll wait for the rescue crew. I'm sorry I ruined your shot. Well, uh, my hydraulic system didn't really do that great in the storm either, and, uh, geez dang, Camilla, would you do me the honor of coming on board and being my mechanic? What? Ernie, I couldn't. I hardly know the first thing about Tinker. I'll shelve that false modesty. I can pick out a gearhead when I see one. Now, do you want to help tune old, old rusty, r uh, old rusty, uh, the, uh, Old rustic rusty? Oh, what the heck? Who am I kidding? Ernie, it would be my honor. This is absolutely unprecedented in robot golf. Ernie has rescued Camilla from her meteor-stricken robot. Not only that, but Camilla looks like she's taken the engineer's seat on Ernie's robot, and they're both continuing on for this next hole. Definitely not the behavior you'd expect from this robot golfing socialite. Sounds like a character turn. Now there's your problem. You've got your golf bits mixed up with your frog bits. Let me just defrost this engine and you'll be running way That's far enough for the ball. That's far enough. Boy, that ball's got wings. Which means, of course, that this golfer will be disqualified. Winged balls are strictly against the rules. That ball is going, go, oh, no, wait, sorry, it stopped. because that was a great drive. Ooh, it's in the sand. What a shame. That's going to get everywhere in that 100-foot robot. Good. Your mom and I are proud of you. You've come within spitting distance of the hole. If you can spit really far, you're pretty far from the hole.
So disappointed. On the right side, I heard that building was full of racists. Look at that lazy ball, just stopping wherever it wants. Earned a huge swing. It's whole o'clock, we're on the green. That's a grand slam. Packed last few holes this has been on the Robot Golf Master Finals. We're here with Camilla and Ernie, and I've got to ask, Camilla, what was going through your mind when that fateful storm hit? Thank you for having me on your wonderful show, McElroy Brothers. Naturally, a golf celebrity like myself is prepared for any occasion, and, uh, as I was saying, uh, well, I like to say that I'm always fixing for a round of Robot Golf. But thanks to my friend, Ernie here, I learned today that I'm also fixing to fix things. Thank you, Ernie. Jeez, dang, that's, <laughs> sheesh, that's real nice of you to say so, Camilla. I'm honored that y'all even have me here to golf, and of course I'm grateful to Max, Bonnie, and especially Camilla here for showing me just how fun competing in Robit Golf is. I gotta say, heck, maybe I'll stick around for the next tour, I tell you what. Yay, indeed. There you have it. Turns out these two robot golfers like robots. They like golf. We'll let you two go. You've got three holes left in the Robot Golf Master Tour, and we don't want to stop you from your dark preparations. Now, this is anybody's golf game, even at this late stage, so don't go flipping that dial. All we're competing against today is reruns of Space Frasier. Hey, baby, I hear the moon calling. And then that w that's the joke. If you can just add that in... Get the, find the band from the original Frasier and get them to record like a parody version of the Frasier theme song. Don't try to swap any of them out. We'll know. Welcome to Mason's Moon. I've got to say... They have really let this place go since I left. Really? Did those moon rocks not get polished while you were out? It's... it's an ambiance thing, Susume. A certain je ne sais quoi. A distinguished man of my record has a natural feeling for these things. Suzume! So glad you can make it out to the Chimera Biodome! Vani. Oh, you brought Mason! So great to see you again, it's been so long! I have to say, the ambiance here has definitely suffered without you. I was just saying that. It's good to be back. Well, Mason, I would love to catch up after the tournament. Drinks on me? Sure. Okay. Robert! What a Did you see that? I know. I'm glad I'm not the only one who can see how this place has changed. She didn't even say goodbye. Wait. How do you know Vani? Oh, we, uh, crossed paths in college? Really? I didn't know you went to Robot Golf University? In oh, fact... Oh, no. It was a mixer or something with astronaut U. I'm surprised she remembers me. Let's get out of here. We've got to get ready for the final tournament. Wait, are you jealous? Jealous? Absolutely not. I have natural golf skill. I didn't just buy all my gear like she did. Well, 
Natural may be a stretch, but I'll admit that you've turned into a pretty great golfer while I've been away. Was that a compliment from Mason? You're right, you're right. We got to get ready for the final tournament. Let's go. We're here in the final hole and it's still anybody's game. Let's watch Suzume and Mason team up to possibly clinch the greatest tournament this greatest game has ever seen. At least, I hope that's how this is gonna shake out. I got money by on this. Oh dear merciful Jesus. Dear merciful robot Jesus, please. Please, I need just this one. Please, merciful robot Jesus, let your humble servant, Justin, just get one. Amazing lining up the tea. So, how do we know where to look? I keep seeing a vision of the moon's surface. I'm going to find it. The moon is eh, still pretty big, even after blowing up a chunk of it. I'll find it. I've got to find it. Good, good driver, boy. That was excellent. Ooh, tough break from Mason. Go for it, Mason. Well, I hope you're proud of yourself. You should be. That was a great putt. Now, Griffin, we're on the green, and I have a question for you. Why don't they call it the red or the blue? God only knows. We're at the next hole. Are you happy now? First shot means infinite possibility. Could you shoot it towards the whole shirt? Why not blast it into the clouds? Give them a little poultry. It could go all the way. No, it can't. What did that building ever do to you, you turd? Shooting off an approach shot from the fairway. Let's see if we can avoid the remnants of human civilization that seem to be in the way of this good shot.
That's how you get ahead of the competition, right, Mason? Just like my first marriage, it looks like things have gotten a little rocky. Bunker, population, your ball. When it's a door, not a door. When, it, when it's a jar, with a head in it, a mason, golf shot. star who's my good great boy Mason that little head that could is really delivering today Justin, I'm looking at the greens here. I can't seem to find the next hole. Uh, any chance you could help me out? Look inside your heart. It's been there all along. Also, it is. It's down the. It's down. It's down the green. Down the green. We've got this golf egg perched up in its nest, and we're just getting ready to blast this thing. I can't wait. Satellite dishes in my yard. Now they're going to be trying to be good at this. Let's see if they can do it. I know it. Okay, well, let's finish the round and then have a poke around. I can't believe it. I can't believe this place is real. Hey now, you're a golf star on the fairway. Go play. Council on how to do golf good. If this were an autobiography of that shot's life story, we'd have reached the conclusion, the stirring ending for that shot. Oh, 
dream putt. Much like fans of Cheers, we're stuck on Cliff. Let's see how they do. A stylish shot from a stylish head. Well, a rolling ball gathers no moss, um, but that's not going to be an issue here. Free me from my golf prison, please sink this putt, for the love of God. Ooh, that ball had a surplus of putt putter on it, it's in the hole. That is a great putt by Suzume, she really put that golf egg in its home. That's gotta clinch it, right? And oh. And there she goes again. Uh, we're never going to be able to dump a big vat of poison robot Gatorade on her unless she comes back and just lets us. I don't understand. It was all right here in my dream. It's been a long time, Suzume. It may have moved or be destroyed or... No, it has to be here. It has to be. Come on, it's late. We got all the time in the world. Let's head back to the base and regroup tomorrow. Stop. What was that? Uh... Look, under your feet. Huh? See? And you were making fun of me for dusty moon rocks. It looks like there's an entry elevator nearby, too. You ready? Yes. Okay, let's do this. Welcome to Eco Base. It has been an egger missing base since the last accident. Let's keep it that way. Hmm. I guess you had to find out about this sooner or later, Suzume. I guess you had to find out about this sooner or later, Suzume. For generations, golfers have been searching for the elusive Infinity Ball, rumored to create impossibly long drives and perfect short games. Well, I found it. And improved it. I present to you... The Infinity Ball X! Oh. Oh, no. But why? Why did you... Why get me to play golf if you already have the most powerful ball in the world? Ah, oh, I could fill in that blank. See, back when Bonnie started golfing... Max! Ixnay on the origin A, story A! She ran into some golfers and their inconsiderate rudeness gave her the passion Max! to... Max! Wait, wait, wait. I'm remembering something. That was you? You were that Vani? That Vani? I can't believe I didn't put it together. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. Ah, yes, now you remember. It all started right before the Eagle incident. I'm glad you're here, Suzume. You look like a real robot golfer now. Bonnie! Hey, Bonnie, over here! I thought I heard a golfer's name. But that kid looks like a pop star. But that kid looks like a pop but star. That kid looks like a pop but that star. Kid looks like a pop, pop star. star. But that kid looks like a pop star. Hey, what's the matter? Bonnie! Bonnie! Stop! Stay away from them! Apologize! Bonnie is a perfectly good name for a robot golfer. I'm the best golfer and I'll prove it! On the fairway. Huh?
I can't believe those... those... Ugh. Don't worry, my fantabulous fairway star. We'll find a way to show them your amazing golf prowess. Winning golf is no longer enough. I want the Robot Golf Tour Association. I want all of Robot Golf to be mine. Hmm. Get mad. But I put it in the call to someone that can help us. What? Ah, uh, but you see, I know them well. They're a fellow celebrity of my caliber. Oh, great. I know, right? They're at the next hole. Hey there, Max. Welcome to the moon, or as I like to call it, Mason's moon. Ah, hi there, my golfing pal. 
nice to I call it Mason's moon because I was the third person to step on it. If Buzz and Neil weren't going to claim dibs, I sure wasn't going to pass up on the opportunity. But, uh, of course. Anyway, I got your telegram. What can I do you for? Another fantastic interview with yours truly? I was hoping you could hook up Bonnie here with that ball you told me about. The, the every ball, the, the infinite ball, the infinity ball. Shh, wait, wait, wait. Don't say that name out loud. I'll take you both to Mason's Infinity Ball. Just follow me after this hole. Now this down here is the Infinity Ball. We found it when we tried to stake the flag down when we landed on Mason's moon during Apollo 11. This weird object was just waiting for us. Don't you maybe think you could find a smaller room for it? Oh boy, this thing is more dangerous than its tiny side slits on. Mike Collins snuck aboard the lamb just to get a whack at it back in the day and, well, he sliced it. Wait, I remember Buzz and Neil, but... Who's Mike Collins? Exactly. Future NASA spends years covering up the first golf-related death on the moon. This ball contains raw power, and she doesn't take well to bad shots. Only respect for the ball can produce perfect results. Wow! I can show you how to hit it, but you have to give me something in return. Full funding for Biopath for 100 years. To assume it deserves it. Ah, now Mason, that's a tall order. Done. I must have this power. I must be the best robot golfer. Fantastic. Stay here in the blast-proof room, and I'll go down to the ball and show you the swing you need to become the best golfer ever. Well, beside me, obviously. Okay, keep arms straight. Keep back to the target. Maintain arm speed. Remember that you're doing this for Susume. What's taking him so long? I'll never win with this ball if I have to wait minutes before each shot. Okay, this has to be perfect. Otherwise, I'm visiting Mickey C. Okay? No distractions. Three, 
two, one, swing! Mason? What are Oh you... no! Oh no. I remember it all now. How? But I thought... Well, we were behind the blast glass, so we didn't get hurt at all. Isn't that great? You didn't need me to golf at all. You just needed Mason to tell you how to hit the infinity ball? You used me! Well, it's not like I'm going to show them the secret now. I mean, I'm ahead, and... And you! All this time, I grieved for you. For you! And I find out now that this whole mess is your fault anyway? For what? Your own dumb ego? We're teammates. It's like I don't even know you anymore. No, wait, wait. I did this for you. Well, this is definitely not the clubhouse celebration I was promised at the start of the tour. Then Mason went into a swing, but shock, Suzume walked in on him taking the shot. Trouble in paradise, am I right? Anyway, we're all behind the blast glass, so naturally my... Superstar charm! Survived to tell you this story. So, uh, Max, buddy, care to tell us what the dealio is with that oversized novelty golf ball there? I mean, I don't see the oversized novelty golf club to go with it anywhere. Ha, <laughs> right? Oh, well spotted. You see... I'd love to explain this one, Uncle. I'm a professional robot golfer, but once I've proven myself on the fairways as the best... But you cheated with that ball! You're, you're not a real golfer! Once I proved I was the best and became the head of the Robot Golf Tour Association, I struggled to figure out what's next. What could possibly be bigger than being the best 100-foot robot golf? Well, uh, I built this machine to find out. I call it the Mega Particle Accelerator and Regrower, or Megapar for short. With this machine, and the power of the Infinity Ball, I can grow or shrink anything in the universe, people, robots, even the Infinity Ball itself. Oh, come on, really? Yeah, I've got to say, this sounds a little ridiculous. The laws of thermodynamics alone make this impossible. Not to mention, it's incredibly unsportsmanlike. Fools! <laughs> You're not seeing the bigger picture. 100-foot robots are big, but what's bigger than that? A 101-foot robot golf tournament? Think bigger. With the Megapar machine, I'll grow the Infinity Ball and my robot to impossible sizes. I'll be the queen of the largest possible sport available. I'll be the winner of... One million foot robot golf! Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Vani, the best robot golfer in the entire galaxy. My name's Justin McElroy, and I just love what a great golfer Vani is. That's right, Justin. Just look at this great golf girl. That's clearly the best robot golfer I've seen and will ever see. The leader of Team Chimera soars through the galaxy. Oh, you're so great, Vani. I'm Max. You can be on my show anytime. Oh, Max, I'm a shining beacon throughout the entire universe now. I don't need television. And here she goes for the first short game to ever take place on a nebula. Vani, va oh, no, ha ha ha, nothing to see here, everything's fine. This is all your dumb fault, Mason. I can't believe you gave this crazy person. You gave her the power to destroy the entire sport of 100-foot robot golf. 
the sport I dedicated my life to. And for what? Your dumb ego? For money? Why? For... for... Suzume, I walked in Mason Spoon. I've, I've played golf on Mason Spoon. I've even done a handstand on Mason Spoon. But I traded it all in for you. I give him the ball in exchange for your project funding. You're, you're all that matters to me. <gasps> oh, you, you dumb idiot. You lovely dumb clown. This is the worst idea ever. What good is money when these two are minutes away from controlling the entire golf galaxy? <sighs> do I have to do everything around here? Fine. Uh, Bonnie, we may have a problem. Max, how many times have I told you do not interrupt me when I'm in the middle of long-term planning? It's very important that wait. What is that? See, I told you the spare would come in handy. Now, I believe you're calling me a uh, dumb clown? Still accurate. We'll talk about this. Um... Us more back in the lab. You know, maybe when we don't have an entire audience. They're totally gonna smooch! <laughs> well, uh, this all wrapped up great, but there's still one small thing we need to sort out. Who's going to run 100 foot robot golf now? I am the record holder for the longest drive. I mean, I am the most experienced. You are all dumb. So clearly, it's me.
With both Vani and Max out of the picture, Robot Golf is going to be very different. You don't think they'll find a way to escape? Let's just say the problem is too small for us to worry about. They seem to be having a bit of a tiny problem of their own to deal with. You could almost say... Don't. They're tiny people now. Impossible! The mainframe is acting on its own! Well, this is unprecedented. The golf is over, and Mrs. Wilkerson's third grade class has just taken the field to start learning the fundamentals, but, oh my god, another robot has re-entered the field for one last round of solo golf. Get those third graders out of there! The first shot is the deepest, or at least it's supposed to be, so let's see if we can get this hole started out right. That'll show that highfalutin rock. Get back to Earth where you belong. Well, no, no, don't do that. No, don't do that. We don't have much left here, so... Three, two, one, blast off. It's time for driving here at the team. Uh, mothers, let me check the numbers. Yes, it appears that this dog is a good dog. Um, you've probably seen good dogs before, but what do you think of this good dog? How good is this dog? Well, Travis, I have to say the strength of this dog is that there's five of them. Mm -hmm, yes. And Every one of those dogs is a good dog, so I would say it's a good, 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 good dog. Slam a jam a ding dong, what a drive. Watching the hit film The Mummy, or is the ball just in the sand? I would love to pet the dog. How do is there a list I can sign up on to pet it? I've got a half off good dog pet group on here and I'm gonna cash it in for this good dog. He's just that good. Get your balls ready. It looks like it's about time to bounce. That ball is off to dreamland. Come to sleep on the fairway. You know, who would have expected five dogs to perform so well at golf?
I'm just going to interrupt the action real quick here to remind everyone that we destroyed the moon. That's my favorite thing about golf, is when the ball goes in. Oh, look! It's a set of adorable dogs! What? Oh no. It's true. The Canine Instrumentation Project. This can't be real! Uh, do you need some water, or...? No! Don't touch the infinite ball! Stay! Stay! Don't! Why are you yelling at these good dogs? What good dogs? Good dogs. Ah, it's too late! It's too late for these... Good dogs. Oh, oh good my dog. cute little dog, you're what so good. Dog. Good dog, yeah. Who's a great dog? You're the best dog. The good best dog, dog is your awesome dog. dog. Good dog. The best dog. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Oh, that's a good dog. Good dog. A good dog. Wait, good. You're a very good dog. Good dog. I believe we can all agree uh, that you are a good dog. Who's a You're good a dog? good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog.